Welcome everybody, super, super excited. In this video, in this short video, I'm gonna talk about how to make six figure salary without a college degree. Yes, it is possible. Many of our students are actually gone through the training itself and, and gotten certified. And of course they are now working as a DevOps engineer or a solutions architect or just an entry level DevOps position. So let's dive into how to make six figure salary without a degree. First thing you got to do is start learning AWS DevOps today. Let's not wait. Let's not wait for tomorrow. Just start jump into directly into AWS. Create a free tier account with AWS at amazon.com. That's all you need to do. Dive into the platform and start exploring. Of course, with a little bit of training, we have full courses right here. So you can just take a look at those courses right here on YouTube and hey, just follow along. That's all you got to do. So start today. That is important. Next, after two months, just after two months, you take the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam and get certified. Yes, it is possible. Many of our students have just taken this free full course that we have right here on YouTube. It's the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner course. Just go through it and just go through the comments. I mean, students are passing left and right and we're super, super excited and of course thankful also that you know, we're delivering valuable information right here on our channel. So yeah, just two months of training, go through the entire course. And then of course, if you if you prepare early, perfect. I mean, just this is just a ballpark two months, right? So right after two months, you're gonna take the exam and get certified. And that'll give you some solid fundamental understanding of AWS right there. Next, what you gotta do is start preparing for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam. That is the next level, right? And of course, since you already are working on the AWS platform and you're working with several projects, right? You're setting the infrastructure up, you're understanding all the tools and services that AWS has to offer. This is your chance to prepare, to start to prepare for the next certification exam. And yes, we also have the AWS Certified Solutions Architect Associate Exam free right here full course on our channel. And yes, students are passing this too. So, hey, super excited. So you gotta prepare for this, go through our training course right here for free. And then once you're ready, you gotta take the exam and yes, you will pass. All right, so right after that, after three months, right? This is like preparing yourself for the AWS Certified Solutions Architect for about three months, all right? And then you take the exam and then you pass the exam. And this is a solid, solid, certification and you'll have you know some really nice credentials if you pass this exam right now because passing the exam simply validates your skills guys right it's important to understand that once you take the certification exam for aws and you pass it that demonstrate that you have skills right now skills are important this is the buzzword right skills all right so right after that do some hands-on projects for a couple of more months. All right, so we're already in five months and this is about two months, right? So about six to seven months in total, you gotta go through the training, make sure you do hands-on projects. For example, you need to start building pipelines, right? Start setting up your ELBs or ALBs, right? Infrastructure, maybe Route 53, just, just set up a simple website, maybe do a WordPress website on AWS. And yes, it's all free. It's covered in your AWS free tier account. So go through that. And of course, we have all the lectures right here on our channel as always. So practice hands-on working with various projects. And this is important because when you go to the interview, right? They're gonna ask you, what's your experience? Well, you're an entry level and you don't really have any experience, right? This is your first time around. So if you answer all of their questions for an entry level position, you will get a job, right? That's, that's the deal. Now, they're not gonna ask you for a college degree because these certifications are equivalent to a college degree. That's what's happening, guys, right? So make sure you do hands-on projects for two months so you get the feel for what is happening. Maybe you deploy Jenkins or you work with AWS, maybe code uh, commit, you know, code start and whatnot. Just, just do projects, what you think are um, applicable and what people are looking for. And of course, we have several videos you can take a look at uh, how to do projects in different areas within AWS. 
All right, so yeah, once you're done with those, prepare for DevOps interview, and we have several videos preparing you for DevOps interview questions and answers. Yes, recruiters, companies, they ask questions, and we have all the answers right here on this channel. So hey, go ahead, prepare for those, and then start applying for entry-level AWS DevOps jobs. And once you do that, yes, go through the interview process. You know, there's several of them out there. We already have them here. You can just simply go through them and prepare yourself and start applying. And many platforms like LinkedIn, Dice are the popular platforms that you can go and post your resumes and you will get responses, right? Because of course, it's just demand and supply. All right, once you're done, your AWS certifications, by the way, are a replacement for a college degree. So you don't really have to wait you know, two years, five years, whatever it is to get a college degree and then start to prepare for your AWS certifications, you can just, hey, get certified and start applying basically after you have some hands-on projects and just give you solid understanding. All right, so thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And of course, if you have any questions, post in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer all of your questions. And with this, thank you so much for watching. My name is Syed and I'll see you guys next time.